Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Sonia, also known as SG from Let the Lady Speak Podcast. On this channel, we talk about life, love, healing, dating, and relationships. And today I just wanted to briefly talk about why you should date yourself. Dating yourself is so important, I feel, and I just want to share my reasons why. I've heard women say women who date themselves are just lonely. That's not true. Loneliness could be in a relationship. Some of, uh, I know some very lonely people that are in relationship. Singleness means that you're just single. Dating yourself is just a time for you to get away to reconnect with yourself. It doesn't mean that you are lonely. It doesn't mean that you are sad, bitter, or miserable. So I really don't like that misconception. And I just want to talk about why it's important for you to date yourself. Number one, the best relationship you can have is with yourself. You have to know you better than anyone because knowing you helps you in so many ways. It helps you set boundaries. It helps you communicate your wants, needs, and desires. It helps you to teach other people how to properly court you. It's just beneficial for you to get to know yourself. And I wrote some notes. I want to make sure I don't forget anything. Um, and it's important for you to live a life that you love. When you live a life that you love, there's two things that happens. Number one, you don't feel like you have to be with someone. A relationship is a bonus. It's not mandatory. So if you have someone, they come to your life, it's a bonus. But you still live your life every single day. I think it's kind of unfortunate when people decide to stop living because they don't have a significant other. Like you've been blessed with this life. Live it to the fullest. Have fun. Explore life. Do all the things that you can do in your singleness that you may not be able to do once you are in a committed relationship because now you've made a commitment to someone else. So every decision you make includes someone else. And I don't think people quite look at it like that. I've dated myself for as long as I can remember. And a lot of it is because I'm an introvert and I just need that time to myself. It's a lot of times I just want to do things I enjoy without interruption. I booked a trip to Mexico this year for my 45th birthday and I had a wonderful time and it was everything that I wanted. It was everything that I manifested. So I encourage people to date themselves. Your best relationship is the one with yourself. And that's why I say the number one reason why you should date yourself. The second reason why you should date yourself is it builds self-confidence. Uh, once you know that you can be alone with yourself, it's empowering also. But once you know you can be alone with yourself, you're less you're less willing to take anything from anyone. You're less willing to settle. You know who you are. You know what you bring to the table. Because now you have this full-blown relationship with yourself, right? And you know that your life is going to be great with or without this person. That having you is a wonderful thing. But I can also be without you and be okay, right? So when you are confident, it, it just shows and it makes your life better. Not to mention the fact that when you are confident, confidence is attractive. It's sexy to men, especially men who are confident and who's looking for someone who's confident. A guy who is well established and looking for a partner who will allow him to be a purpose partner in their lives where you guys come together and build is better for that kind of guy versus someone who is really insecure needs a lot of attention and self-reassurance and isn't able to stand alone. But one thing any man can tell you or any man will tell you that is healthy, they will let you know, I love a woman with confidence, you know? And we all do, we're all attracted to confidence. That's one thing we love. We may call it swag, but it's confidence when a person can walk through the door and own who they are. So dating yourself helps you get to that point. And it's very empowering. I know a lot of people, um, again, feel like dating yourself is a lonely woman's thing. And it really isn't. There are so many people who think you're courageous for dating yourself and for being able to go out alone. But here's the thing. You have to be able to sit with yourself alone. You can't expect for anyone else to want to be in your presence if you yourself don't want to be in your presence. So it's definitely great for your confidence. The third thing I will say is that it's important to always remember who you are and you need time for reflection. The reason why I say it's important to remember who you are is we wear a lot of hats. 
as women, as people, period. But I'm talking about women today. Um, you wear so many hats. Your wife, sister, daughter, mommy. Um, you just play a lot of roles. And there's some times where you just have to be you. And going on a date doesn't have to be anything crazy. You can really just have the house to yourself and sit on the couch and eat ice cream if that's what you want to do. But that alone time, that time with just you, just reconnecting with you and who you are, asking yourself, who am I and what do I want is so very important in life. So it's a great time to reflect because things change. Who you are at 20 is different than 25, than 30, than 40, than 45, and so on. So I always encourage people to date themselves because you need that time to reflect on who you are and reset your goals for yourself. You should always rewrite your mission statement to life, I say. The fourth reason is you learn more about yourself, especially in your singleness. If you're single and you're dating yourself, because I do promote dating yourself for both married, whether you're married, single, situationship or relationship, you know, just time alone with you is important. But um, when you're in your singleness, so you can help communicate to the other person what it is that you like. And so you yourself know, so you yourself will know What's important to you, 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 you yourself will know how you like to be treated. Another thing about that is when you show up for yourself a certain way, a person knows that this is how I have to show up for you. They know that that's the standard. She requires whatever it is that you require based on how you carry yourself and how you care for yourself. So dating yourself allows the world to see this is what I require of myself, right? So that's another reason the fifth and bonus reason because originally i didn't have this on here is that you may meet the person that have the same interest as you on your adventures so you may meet someone and you on your adventure where you know you guys may have the same thing in common right you may want somebody that loves to dance you're going to dance classes guess what you may meet somebody that likes to dance there so it also is a great way to get out and date and to meet people, to practice having great conversations, to practice um, your discernment skills so that you can kind of learn how to quickly wing people out, how to properly ask questions um, that are important to you, how to dwindle down to what it is that you're looking for, right? So those are my reasons. I talk about my Mexico trip on my podcast. I do just like a 30 minute conversation about it. If you're interested, I'll put the link below. I wish you the very best. Thank you for letting me speak. Love you for who you are. Have a great day. Bye-bye.